back to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. <laughs> and I'm Wesley. The Loon. <laughs> the Loon. <laughs> and folks, today we are making a classic dish. It's so many people's favorite. It's absolutely one of our it's favorites. Totally one of our favorites. It is. What are we making? We're making chicken, chicken fajitas. 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 Oh my gosh, we've been on this Tex Mex kick lately. I love it. And it's right in our wheelhouse, and yeah. you're going to want to come yes. on over to our wheelhouse <laughs> yeah, and have some fajitas. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So, what we're going to do is uh, it's chicken. So, we've got some chicken here. You want to get boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Uh, this recipe is anywhere from three to five breasts. You know, you're going to want probably about four, three four to five Four is for a family. Yeah, and, you know, we're more than just a family. <laughs> I know. So we're going to do three. But these, this marinade that I'm going to show you will work for three bre Actually, chicken breasts, two what, chicken breasts. That's kind of brood. What? I'm, you looked at me and said we're more than just a family. Well, we more, eat more than just a two-person family. <laughs> Just make, your, make anyway. your sauce. Okay, so we're going to start off and we're going <laughs> to marinate this chicken. That's what we're going to build the flavor of profile right now. So what we're yes. doing is I have got a half a cup of Worcestershire sauce. I you guys, love Worcestershire. The smell already is amazing. I've got I love a, Worcestershire with my steaks. I know. Worcestershire. We always say it wrong. Yeah. Um, right. And then um, we've got a half a cup of dry white wine. Um, the acid is really important mm -hmm. for making this meat really tender and flavorful. Yes. I've got a quarter cup of, actually, I think I just reversed yes, it. Yes, you did. That, what I just put in, was a quarter <laughs> cup of fresh lime juice. The, it's a good thing I didn't say, you know, I'm going to taste this before I, <laughs> oh, it's so tart. Yeah. And then I've got now a half a cup of dry white wine. Yes. So we had Worcestershire, lime juice, white wine, and now we've got what I think is a, my secret ingredient is soy what sauce. Is <gasps> really? We're going to talk a little more about that later, but it just, just remember, adds, a, it adds Remember a, we're going to talk about that later. Okay. We're going to really <laughs> build the flavor profile, and we're going to use that ingredient again, and you would never know that it was soy sauce, but it really amps up the flavor. Ooh. So, all right. So we're going <coughs> to now take this and put the... So we put our, our three chicken breasts here in this bag, and we're just going to pour this down in there. Okay. Be, would you help me on that? Oh, Lord. Okay. I definitely recommend if you've got a loon at home, find help. Yes. Um, okay. Then I'm going to zip it up, and I'm just going to get it all now Get the squished. air out of there. Oh, sorry. Get the chicken so when you, Obviously, we were using a large Ziploc bag. That works really well for marinating because the meat just kind of like can hang out in, the, in that marinade. Obviously, you can also just use a shallow dish, put that in there and cover it. Um, the key is for it to be fully submerged in the marinade. Yes. Now, this is going to go in the fridge for anywhere from two hours to overnight. And um, it's just going to soak up all that great flavors. Yes. And when we come back, we are going to start building the, uh, the other components to the fajitas. And then we're going to yes. put these things. We're going to further season these, and we're going to grill them. Yes. Out. Yes. <laughs> and, and I'm going to clean this off because you don't want any remnant turkey juice or chicken juice on your counter. We'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, All right. so we are back. So This has been marinating for a very, very long time. Well, we, about a couple <laughs> hours, and you can just tell it soaked up that delicious flavor. So good. So I went ahead and started doing the other uh, uh, sautéed onions that are going to be the oh, base of these. smell these amazing. Yeah, they're incredible. So they're going. So let me tell you about this rub, though, uh, fajita rub that we're gonna, that, the, the loon is going to put on these uh, chicken breasts. It is a, um, and you can get the exact measurements, obviously, at How to Feed a Loon, but this is a combination of salt and ancho chili powder. Uh, we've got some onion powder, some garlic powder, some seasoned salt, some black pepper, some um, smoked paprika, Woo! just a little bit of that. I mean, it really layers the flavor. And I'm going to so, just spr so liberally, liberally sprinkle. Liberally, liberally just sprinkle that on, and then we're going to do it over. all over, and then we're going to flip it over, and uh, that will, the it'll begin to kind of like caramelize it. Almost, it almost like I it love blackens the black chicken. Yeah. Totally, and I love so, that. All right, now let me tell you about these miraculous things. So these, I'm telling you, these, these <laughs> are what I think put these fajitas over the top, in yes. my personal opinion. These are onions. I just love caramelized onions. And yes. so sometimes you go to a Mexican joint or fajita joint and, you know, the onions are just barely cooked. And um, <laughs> I guess there's some people like that. But I like them. I think they really, 
they just really marry so well with the, the, all of the other fixings for the fajita when they've almost caramelized. So what I did was I got this nice large skillet and I put a couple tablespoons of olive oil in there and then I got it nice and hot when it was just beginning to shimmer. I took, I had one whole large sweet onion that I had sliced, just, you know, sliced, kind of roughly chopped and I dumped it in, into the skillet and then I let it start cooking. And it took, it takes about 20 minutes for it to get to the consistency that I like. About halfway through, as they're starting to reduce down and they're starting to really become translucent and delicious, I add that secret ingredient I was telling you about. I add a couple of splashes of soy sauce. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is the secret ingredient. You'd never know that it was soy sauce. It doesn't taste like, wow, this has an Asian flavor to it. <laughs> no, it just no, does, no. it mixes with the sweetness of the, of the onions and it just makes them so tantalizingly delicious. Right. Now, people can also put green and red onions in there or peppers in there if they want. Bell peppers, yeah, a lot, I mean, that's common. I mean, if you, well, I, I don't like, like it. <laughs> He doesn't like it. I don't mind it, but if you know, you can certainly do that. But I, these these onions are so amped up with flavor. It's they're insane. amazing. Okay, so now so I have. You did very good. Though, I have that looks beautiful. buried these in this well, lovely. Yeah, rub. I mean you don't you know you don't want it to be like like breaded in this. No, in the and you can shake it off a little bit before yeah. you throw it on the grill. So um, speaking of the grill, we have our grill outside. Uh, we, you want to put it on like get it to bring it just like a medium heat, medium high heat. Um, you can use your gas grill, your charcoal grill, whatever you're using. If you don't have a grill, you can use an indoor you know uh, skillet. Even you can do this in your skillet with a little bit of a really piping hot uh, cast iron skillet. There's a lot of ways you can do this, but. I think grilling is the yes. best way to go. Let's so, go. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Bye. <laughs> Yes. We're so close yes. to fajita time. Oh. Yay. Okay, so we grilled our chicken perfectly. So lovely it was about. Uh, it was lovely. It was about six minutes per side. Um, brought it in, let it rest for a few minutes, and then I love to take my little instant read the uh, theater. Thermometer. thermometer. It's also a theater. And uh, mm -hmm. just make sure that it's anywhere between 163 to 165, 67. Um, it's going to continue to cook or, you know, cook a little bit even as it rests. Sure. Um, so this was perfect. And it's, oh, it it's so, so good. good. It's so good. It's, it's delicious. Like I said, it's kind of almost that got this rub. little black and that that rub. So oh, then, rub. Um, the, ah, the rub. So then what we, I did is I just got a nice sharp knife and um, I turned it just slightly on an angle and then just uh, sliced that chicken so it's um, in so beautiful strips. Yeah, longer strips than just going... Zoop, 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 zoop. Exactly. Right. And so, okay, so now I'm going <laughs> to scooch this over here. Now, as you can see, fajitas, I mean, it's about the meat, it's about the onions, but it's, it's about also like accoutrements. The accoutrements. <laughs> and so let's let's do a quick review. Of let's what talk we've about got here. this though first. Shall okay. We? Okay. If I you love want to talk about this. So this is the pico de gallo. Some folks down south go pico de gallo, but anyway, it's pico de gallo, and we actually have a little clip to show you how quick and easy it is to make. <laughs> so we start with a nice large bowl. To that, we add three cups of diced fresh tomato that's been seeded, then about a quarter cup of diced red onion, then one jalapeno pepper that's been diced and seeded, and then a quarter cup of fresh cilantro. Now to all of this, we're gonna wanna add the juice of two limes that have been split in half. You can use bottled lime juice, but we find fresh is always better. Lime juice is quintessential in Mexican cooking. Now a couple pinches of kosher salt, then we're just going to grab a wooden spoon and very gently start to mix it all together until it's fully incorporated. And now, your pico de gallo is ready to serve. Okay, so that was quick and easy. Quick and pico easy. Pico de gallo. Okay, and then we have our... I am telling you, the best ever guacamole in the world. I love it. We've got a link so you can make it yourself. It's so primo. We've got some 
cheese. This is my. Oh, this is your. These are your. This is cheese. Yes. This is cheese. my. Uh, what I call my easy gourmet refried beans. So Got a link to how to make that. So you can good. all of this. You can make ahead of my. Yes. This is my restaurant quality uh, salsa. Restaurant quality. And then we've got some beautiful sour cream. Yes. And then we heated some tortillas up, some flour tortillas yes. up in the oven. Put them in a little foil, and then we've got yeah. them over there. So I am so, prepped. My my station is prepped. We are good to go. <laughs> so now I've got back here. I have been heating for about 15, 20 minutes over piping hot uh, flame. Yes. Um, <laughs> a cast iron skillet. It's, it's like it's a fajita skillet. If you don't have one of those, we're going to have a link so you can order one easily. They're easy to find right. too. Um, but you can also use just a just cast a, iron skillet or, or just, just any skillet. kind of a skillet. Yeah, yeah. Um, but get it good and hot because it's all about the sizzle. It is. It's all I'm about so the sizzle. I'm so excited for the sizzle. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. It's right. nice and hot. I've got my onions uh, right here beside us. Okay. Look at that. Now listen, listen to it. Woo! It's like, it's like we're at Chili's or something. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not quite that fancy. Yes. Stop. Okay. Look at that. Yes. Now, this is an extra large fajita pan because, uh, <laughs> you know, we're extra large fajita eaters. <laughs> so now I'm just going to scoop this meat up here and it will even that if it's... looks great. It will instantly rewarm that meat if it's cooled off a little bit. Oh, you missed the breast. Well, we'll save that for later. <laughs> yeah, this makes, like I said, this make easily makes enough for yes. two or three. This is some fresh citrus. I love um, that. It's adds, so great. It's so beautiful. Here, add some more. Can I? Yes. Ooh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. The smell is insane. <laughs> okay, and then I got just a little bit of that beautiful Ooh, pico de gallo. Yes, just that's a wonderful a, idea. A pop of color, and uh, then this is ready. <laughs> Ready for the master? Yes, folks. I'm gonna start preparing the way I make my master fajita. <laughs> His master fajita. <laughs> now let me tell you, just a word of warning, and um, you might want to like get a wrap a little towel around this because obviously this is hot. You don't want little kiddos touching this because you know you, it could be very bad. So uh, just be careful, and um, just you're very scoot very. Scoot that good. on over to me. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna build the fajita. Yeah. We're gonna build. You can build fajita. your own fajita. Because I ain't giving you any of mine. Well, that's... <laughs> okay, let's just see how we do it. So I like to add a little bedding. <laughs> a bedding of the uh, refried beans. Of my easy gourmet refried just beans. Just delicious. Okay. okay. Then I like to add a little sour cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. This is okay. all on the bed. All on the bed. Mm -hmm. Just a little. Well, you can use as much as you like. I know people who like their sour cream. <sighs> okay. Now we have a little bit of the guacamole. This guacamole is amazing. And I, I it literally yes. all builds these flavors. Yep. I mean, you, you, you've probably had fajitas before, yep. but you know. And now I'm going to use. You've never had these fajitas. No. Now I'm going to take my meat, get it in there, and I'm going to. And it's so flavorful it from the marinade. Oh, it's that. so tender and juicy never on gonna, the inside. <laughs> well, you're going to fit this in my mouth. <laughs> you're going to give it your best shot, yes, I have a yes. feeling. And then I love, this is the wonderful part, I love these onions, all caramelized. They're really fantastic. Oh, I, just, I just love to get them, like, where the, like you said, almost caramelized, oh, and they're so, so flavorful. Good. So, so delicious. Good. Okay. All, all right. right. I'm still I know building. I'm rushing you, but. Still building. I've got my cheese so that I, I put that on my hot meat so it melts a little <laughs> bit. Okay. Sounds and then this world famous Pico de Gallo. Pico de Gallo. I don't Gallo. know if it's world famous, but it's, it, it, it is it, in this hello, house. Hello, it's world famous. <laughs> in this house. In my life. And then, just a little bit, just to make sure that you're covering all your bases, a little of this wonderful restaurant style <laughs> salsa. salsa. Some people don't, you know, like, they're like, well, the Pico is kind of like, it is like a salsa, but I just love another splash of that restaurant quality salsa. All right, folks. Oh, my God. That is my perfect fajita. <laughs> Fajitas are one of my favorite things in the whole wide yes, world. Yes, yes. We often judge restaurants on their fajitas. <laughs> I judge people on their fajitas. <laughs> okay. All okay, right. That's almost like a taco. Mm. I literally my like taste buds just did an explosion and I didn't even take a bite. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. I'm in fajita heaven. Fajita heaven. That's a place I've... Fajita meat. <laughs> fajita meat. All right, tell me about that. That is amazing. Oh. I love it. You know, that that rub is so good. Mm -hmm. And you got a little bit of heat to that rub. Not much, though. No, mm -hmm. it's, 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 but it's good. 
Mm. Now, um, this is also a, obviously a, another really popular um, fajitas that we love, or steak fajitas, yes. beef fajitas. Shrimp fajitas are great. Mm. Um, this is chicken is mm. always a healthier option and not lacking any on flavor. So, mm -mm. what do you not have to say? No lacking on flavor. Don't eat all of that because mm. I want You're some. You're going to have some of them. Oh, thanks. Mm. Wow. That meat, that chicken meat, and that, the accoutrements, and that guacamole. It's so good. Ole? It's ole. Um, you know what? That's 100% Luna proof. <laughs> I thought so. I was <laughs> waiting for you to say it. Oh, my gosh. So I'm so good. excited. I can eat it. So good. Eat it. Just eat it. I mean, it is. Fajitas, since I've been a kid, were my favorite things that you order um, yeah. from a, a restaurant. Yeah, I and just, we go to a Tex-Mex restaurant, and the fajitas are so-so. We're like, well. I don't yeah. know if we'll be back at this It line. is true. It is true. We <laughs> literally like rank on the fajitas. Oh, you know? Lord. Now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. Oh, um, <laughs> and go to social media and like us and do all that, share us. Yes. Tell your friends, please spread the word. Yes. And you guys make fajitas. It's make so good. fajitas. And they're fun. They're fun to do. Fun well, they fajitas. Are, they're very communal. Everyone gathers around. Just don't touch the hot handle. Yeah. Yay. Fun fajitas. Mm. Yeah! Fun! Okay. Ouch. <laughs> hey, everybody! Hi! Now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right, and to get more amazing Tex-Mex recipes like this one, just click right yeah. here. Yeah! Just click on in! Yay! <laughs>